Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how to merge 1 to n number of PDF files to a single PDF file with the help of OCI functions. In order to achieve this use case, first and the foremost thing, we need to create a OCI function and deploy to Oracle Cloud. Second thing, we are making use of object storage bucket over here, wherein function will read the PDF files from object storage bucket and write back the merged file in the same bucket. Let me walk you through the code first. Coming to the function.py file, here we are accepting the file names that is nothing but object names. In object name, the user must send PDF files that is in list format. Bucket name, what will be the final merged file name and delete object. Whether the user wants to delete the PDF files that is the source files which are being sent in this uh, object names list after the final merged PDF file has been created. So this is a boolean. This is the sample uh, JSON request what you are seeing in this test.json file. Coming to the requirements, we are making use of this uh, pypdf2 module over here and OCI in order to connect to object storage. Created this uh, merge pdf function in the merge underscore pdf module over here. I have created the configuration parameter uh, for OCI namespace in order to get the namespace value. I have created a separate video on this topic how to create and pass configuration parameters to function. If you have not watched that video, please check out the video. I will give the link in the card section. I am making use of this temporary IO byte stream over here in order to uh, create PDF file. With the help of that only I am going to put the object into object storage with that uh, IO uh, byte stream. So first thing is we have to iterate over the list of files provided by the consumer that is PDF123. For that I have created this for loop. For each file we have to get the file from object storage using this get object operation. Again all those things we have covered in detail in uh, our previous videos. Please check out those videos if you have missed those videos to watch. Uh, wherein we are passing the bucket name and the pdf file that is uh, one by one we are fetching and we are appending those files uh, with the help of this pdf file merger which is part of this uh, uh, pypdf2 module over here so uh, once we iterate all the files successfully then we write this appended or merged file to our uh, io byte stream over here which i have created with the temporary variable and this io byte stream uh, will be our reference when we write this or put the object into object storage bucket over here just make sure we are passing the content type as application pdf in our case we are sending the pdf file we are passing the merged file name what we got in the request from the user once uh, everything is done uh, we are sending the response back to consumer okay uh, it has completed successfully and the uh, uh, final merged file name so in case anything goes wrong uh, we are printing the message uh, or we are logging the message to a logger saying that error encountered while uh, reading the particular file and the message and also we are raising the exception over here uh, suppose if the consumer wants to delete the object then uh, this block is for that particular case wherein the delete object flag will be checked okay, if it is set to true then one by one it will iterate over all the pdf files and uh, delete that fi particular file from the object storage using this delete object operation let's go to postman and test this i'm here in the postman uh, in the request i'm passing this pdf 010203 let me show you the contents of those PDFs. Coming to PDF01, uh, I'm having two pages. In first page, I'm having first PDF file uh, written. In second page, also same thing. Coming to the PDF2, uh, I have written the second PDF uh, file. Uh, second PDF file, there are also two pages. Uh, in the third file as well, there are two pages. There is third PDF file in one of the page. Uh, same the This is just a dummy file uh, which I have created just for demonstration purpose. So bucket name uh, OCI bucket is my bucket which I have created in the Oracle cloud and also I have uploaded all the files. What will be the merged uh, final file which needs to be created when it merges all the files. Uh, this is what uh, it signifies. Merged file name is the final name which will be given for the merged PDF file. Okay which will have contents of all those three files. A delete object as of now I'm, I will set this to false. Okay. Uh, prior to testing this we have to upload make sure we are uploading all the files which are required uh, to our object storage bucket. Let me click on this send button. This has successfully merged the PDF files to a single file and this is the final uh, merged file name. Uh, same what we had given over here. Let me go to object storage refresh. Yeah, we could see the file created. Let's check download and check the content. Yeah, as you could see uh, my first page is uh, first PDF file, second page is first PDF file, second PDF file, fourth page is second PDF file. 5th page is 3rd pdf file and the 6th page is 3rd pdf file. So it has uh, merged all the pdf file pages. Uh, each file had 2 pages so this has created 6 page and created a single file. This is fine. Now what? Uh, let's see what happens if we set this to true. Let me test this. 
basically it should delete all these three pdf files source files and create a final file let me refresh yeah it has deleted all the three files uh, while creating the pdf uh, suppose if we try to uh, invoke this function uh, without uploading the pdf files that is the source files then it should return appropriate error let's check this use case as well yeah as you could see we are getting a generic uh, error from our object storage saying pdf01 is uh, not found like this we can make use of oci function and object storage bucket uh, in order to merge the pdf files thank you for joining us in this video